In this video, we're looking at construction 19, which is asking us to construct a tangent to a given circle at a given point on that circle. There's two ways of doing this construction. The first way is using a ruler and your set square. Second way is using a compass. We're going to look at both ways in this video. Firstly, we're going to use the method using a ruler and a set square. <clears throat> first of all, though, we're going to draw that circle that's given in the construction title. So with your compass, draw a circle on your page. Now it doesn't matter what the size of your circle is, so don't go too large. And we're gonna draw our circle. And always holding it from the top of the compass. And I'm gonna put away my compass. And next thing I'm going to do is mark a point on that circle. Now it doesn't matter where the point is, as long as it sits on the circle. So I'm gonna put my point around here. I'm going to label those two points. I'm gonna label the center point C and the point on the circle X. Okay, so there's our circle drawn. Next thing I'm going to do now is, I'm gonna take out my ruler and I'm gonna place the edge of my ruler along these two coordinates. So sliding over my ruler, that it goes through the point C and X, and I'm going to connect them then with my pencil. If you don't connect them, it's fine, but I just want you to see that the line is drawn here when we create our 90 degree angle. I'm now going to take out my set square, and I'm going to set my set square up against the edge of my ruler. So sliding it over that it sits on the edge of your ruler, and if I slide my set square down to the point X, you will see that it touches the circle at the point. Now, along the edge of that ruler, along the edge of my set square, is now going to be the tangent to the line segment XC, or the tangent to the circle. So I'm drawing my line along the edge of my set square, and if I remove my set square and my ruler, you will see that purple line is now the tangent to that circle. If I was to continue that line, you would see it would come out the other side. Now, you can draw your line with your ruler to create that line. That's why I personally prefer now the second option that we're going to look at, which uses our compass to construct that purple line. So I'm going to go back now and redo this question a second time. So what you need to do now is maybe pause the video, uh, draw that circle, create the point C and X again. Okay, so here we are, and I'm gonna slide my ruler over to the point C and X, and I'm going to draw a line from C that goes through X. I don't have to stop at X, uh, just continue beyond the circle. You don't need to go a specific distance. Next thing I'm going to do, just put away my ruler, and I'm now going to take out my compass again. And I'm going to sit the compass nib at the point X. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw an arc either side of that point X. So with my compass, I'm drawing an arc and I'm now going to come down to the other side. And the radius of your compass, it doesn't matter. So it just has to be between X and C, but just be consistent. So there we are, there's my second arc. So that's all I've done. I've drawn two arcs along that line segment created from the point X. I'm now going to put the nib of my compass at those two arcs. So I'm going to put it here first and then I'm going to move it down to the second arc. Now you will notice that your compass is now positioned at the point C. So if I was to pull in my compass, you'll see that it, or it'll touch the point X, I should say. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust the radius of my compass beyond halfway. So I'm going beyond the point X. Okay, and I'm going to now draw an arc on either side of this line, this red line. So it's up to you which side of the line you, you draw your arc. Okay, so I'm drawing my arc now, and it looks something like that. And now I'm gonna move the nib of my compass down to my second green arc, and I'm going to hopefully intersect this purple arc. And there we are, and I'm gonna put away my compass because we're finished with our compass now. Next thing I'm going to do with my ruler and my pencil, I'm going to connect or draw a line between the point X and through where these two arcs are intersecting, these two purple arcs. So taking out your ruler again, 
draw that line. So I'm sliding it up. That looks about right. And I'm going to use my pencil now and I'm going to draw a line along the edge of my ruler. And that line now that I'm drawing is now the tangent to my circle. So if I remove my ruler, you should see that the tangent touches the circle exactly once. And there's our second way of drawing our tangent to a given circle. Personally, I prefer the second option because you can see that the line is now completely going through both sides of the point X. That's construction 19. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.